Who would be victorious in an epic battle between the United States stealth fighter jet F-22 Raptor and Russia's first stealth aircraft, Su-57? It's a tough call since both fifth generation aircraft have so much in common and are based on similar concepts. The Raptor is optimized as a fast, high-flying and stealth fighter jet. While the F-22 might be holding a better hand when it comes to stealth, the Russians have the edge in maneuverability due to its three-dimensional thrust vectoring engines. But first, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn the notifications on so you're alerted when we make a new upload. Number 1. Stealth was a foundational feature of the F-22, as the plane's design maximized sensor evasion with diamond-shaped wings and sharp, faceted surfaces. The speed brakes, weapon bay doors, and engine exhausts are designed to minimize the aircraft's radar signature. The large vertical canted tails reduce the aircraft's infrared signature from certain angles. The aircraft's metallic surface is also coated with radar-absorbent materials and paint. The F-22 has an RCS of less than 0.0001 square meters, literally like a marble in the sky. It's pretty much undetectable from any useful range. The U.S. has significant experience of designing and operating stealth aircraft for decades. In contrast, the Su-57's design places far less emphasis on all aspect low observables. Instead, it focuses on frontal aspect stealth. This design philosophy gives the Russian jet a Pac-Man-like signature. The F-22's signature looks more like a spider. The Su-57 is mainly stealthy only from the front, which makes its RCS higher from several other sides. Those 3D thrust vectoring nozzles in the back severely increases its RCS. The F-22 can quite easily detect the Su-57 from the sides and rear end. The Su-57's RCF is believed to be 0.1 to 1 square meters. Besides, its infrared signature is relatively much higher. In terms of RCS signature, the Su-57 is slightly stealthier than the Eurofighter Typhoons and the F-A-18 Super Hornets. Both fighter jets greatly differ when it comes to stealth, and the comparison is not in the Su-57's favor. Number 2. The F-22 Raptor is the most maneuverable fighter the U.S. has ever made. The Raptor uses two-dimensional vector thrust jets, which can only go up and down in unison. This is still quite awesome, as the Raptor is the only U.S. fighter that is super maneuverable, but it's not the equal of the agility of the Su-57. On the other hand, the Su-57 is even more maneuverable. The Russian fighter uses three-dimensional thrust vectoring jets. Its engine nozzles can literally tilt independently in any direction to assist it in executing impossible maneuvers. These jets assist it in yaws as well as changing pitch, permitting very high angles of attack, which means the jet's nose is pointed in a different direction than the vector of the plane. Both aircraft are highly maneuverable. However, the Su-57's advantage would be 3D thrust vectors, giving it better performance in low axis, whereas the F-22's 2D thrust vectors and larger control surfaces will give it better performance in pitch axis. Number 3. The F-22 is powered by a pair of Pratt & Whitney afterburning turbofan engines that produce a total 70,000 pounds of thrust. The engines allow the Raptor to supercruise at Mach 1.82 without afterburners. With two external wing tanks, the F-22 can fly about 1,864 miles. The Raptor has a top speed in excess of 1,726 miles per hour, and the jet can perform combat operations within the radius of 528 miles. Its service ceiling is around 65,000 feet. In contrast, the Su-57 is powered by a pair of turbofan engines capable of generating 79,400 pounds of thrust. Unfortunately, the engines are undergoing difficulties, and as a result, the first batch of the aircraft will be powered by the Su-35's engines. 
The SU-57 Zero Dynamics and engines enable it to supercruise at Mach 1.6. With a ferry range of 2,200 miles, the top speed of the aircraft is 1,535 miles per hour. With a service ceiling of 66,000 feet, its effective range of operation is up to 930 miles. For the Russian jet to effectively take on the F-22, it would need the engines that maximize the design philosophies it was intended for. If the Russians resolve the engine problems, then this fight won't be a crushing defeat for one side, but rather it would be the epic aerial rivalry for the ages to come. Number 4. Both the F-22 and the Su-57 have active electronically scanned array radars, which are stealthier, more resistant to jamming, and boast higher fidelity. Both fighter jets are capable of detecting each other as they close within 31 miles of range. However, which one would be detected first is a subject of debate. The F-22's radar is designed to outrange enemy threats, detecting and classifying them before they detect the Raptor, allowing the American jet to not only see first, but shoot first. In order to detect stealth jets, the Su-57 has a modern infrared search and track system with 31 miles of range. The Raptor's engine's nozzles are designed to reduce heat signature, diminishing detection range. In contrast, the Su-57's engine's nozzles are comparatively less stealthy. The Russian jet is equipped with L-band radars in its wings, which theoretically would be effective in determining the general position of the Raptor. However, their range is fairly limited, and they're not precise enough to lock on weapons. Overall, the Raptor has better avionics and radar systems because of superior computing technology. The Raptor will probably have an advantage in other areas as well, such as network-enabled operations, data fusion, and electronic warfare. Number 5. The Raptor has three weapons bays, one of which can carry one Sidewinder missile. The second bay can accommodate six Omram missiles with a range of up to 112 miles. The center bay can also carry JDAM satellite-guided missiles, or up to 26,000 pounds of fuel to extend the range. The Raptor has a six-barreled 20mm Gatling gun in its right wing with 480 rounds. On the other hand, the Russian jet has two large internal weapons bays, taking up virtually the entire length of the aircraft. Each bay can carry up to four BVR radar-guided missiles with ranges in excess of 100 miles. The aircraft also stores a pair of short-range infrared-guided missiles and underwing fairings. Both planes carry long-range radar-guided missiles of comparable effectiveness. Russia has its cutting-edge K-77M missiles with a reported range of 120 miles, while the United States has the Amran Scorpion with a range in excess of 112 miles. The bottom line is that both cutting-edge aircraft have advantages over each other and could come out victorious on any day. However, much will depend more on the battle specifics than anything else. So what do you think? Which fighter jet is better, the United States F-22 Raptor or Russia's Su-57? Let us know in the comments section. Also, be sure to check out our other military videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.